Heaven and earth proclaim your goodness, O God. Good morning. Your God Minute family wants to thank you for joining us in prayer today. My name is Umberto, and I'll be your prayer leader. Welcome. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. Forgiveness, based on Psalm 32. Those who know their sins and seek forgiveness are blessed indeed. When we do not confess our sins to the Lord, we carry a burden and feel worn down. When we completely confess our sins to the Lord, and now all is forgiven, The burden is lifted, and we are released from darkness into light. All faithful people shall pray to you in times of need. We can rest knowing that your deliverance protects us. We will be instructed by you, and you will guide us and watch over us. We shall obey. Those who are wicked will suffer, but those who submit to the Lord's ways will be sheltered by His love. All you righteous people, be glad and rejoice in the Lord, always and forever with songs and praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from John chapter 6, verse 64. Jesus then said to the twelve, Do you also want to leave? Simon Peter answered him, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, friends, if the scripture sounds familiar and you're thinking, didn't I just hear this? Then congratulations. Not only did you go to Mass this past Sunday, but you were actually listening. (laughs) Gold stars for you. Our scripture today is the same from this past Sunday. But the reason I use it is because I'd like to share with you Pope Francis's reflection on the gospel that I read that was so simple and beautiful, worthy of repeating. He honed in on the part in the scripture we just heard, where St. Peter confirms the faith and trust the disciples have in Jesus by saying, Lord, to whom can we go? You have the words of eternal life. Pope Francis said, with that beautiful expression, Peter shows how the disciples wish to stay with the Lord, not to leave him. The disciples had heard the Lord preach, witnessed his miracles, and continued to share in his public and private life. But it was the next part that the Pope's words really stuck with me. He pointed out how it was not easy for the disciples to follow the Lord. So often, they didn't always understand what the Master was saying or doing. They were confused and conflicted. And it was a struggle for them 
to accept the radical nature of Jesus' love for all, the ultimate demands of his mercy, and the Lord's action just going beyond the norms of tradition and acceptance. It reminds me of that great little quote, If following in the footsteps of Jesus is easy, then you're not following in his footsteps. <laughs> it's kind of a, and it goes to this very message that Pope Francis is saying, that the disciples felt it was a radical love and service that Jesus preached and lived about forgiving others, what, not one, two times, 70 times, seven times, loving our enemies, sharing our treasures, sacrificing our ones for the good of others, and, and on and on. But yet, despite the struggle and the questions, it was only in Jesus that Peter and the other apostles find the answer to that thirst for life, as the Holy Father said, for joy, for love that animates them. And only in that will they experience the fullness of life that they seek that we seek beyond the limits of sin and even death. So friends, the challenge to follow the Lord is one for each of us as well, the Pope says, because we also struggle to understand his ways and to make his teaching and example our own. The key, Pope Francis says, is always to stay close to the Lord to follow his gospel, to receive his grace in the sacraments, to be with him in prayer and follow his example of humility and charity. By doing so, Pope Francis says, the more we will experience the beauty of having him as our friend and the more we too will realize, as Peter did, that he alone has the words of eternal life. With hearts filled with gratitude, let's turn to our Heavenly Father and pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, may we draw close to you through prayer and through your holy word, Lord. And may we follow Jesus' example of humility and charity and make his teachings and examples our own. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us today at the God Minute. Let's remember to be kinder to one another. You use less muscles to smile than you do to frown. Go forth in love and joy, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>